Sneaky Nation, welcome back for some more Firewatch. In case you missed the first episode, you have to check that one out first. This is a full playthrough of the entire story of the game. There is a link in the description for the full series playlist. But a quick recap, so last time we found out that we are being spied upon and we need to get to Cottonwood Creek currently, so we're going to take this far right path over here. So it should be right down this way. Should be this path here. Alright, let's make haste there quickly. Now, this game is really awesome. I was really surprised by how good it actually is. This is definitely a shining spot on all indie games, for sure. Okay. We still have to find out what's going on inside that base, too. Some kind of weird research is taking place. I think we have to go down here. Coming back up onto the river. We threw the toilet paper in, <laughs> and it wasn't very absorbent. Hop across. We really don't need to. Just go across. Shallow enough. If you drown in that, then you shouldn't be out here unsupervised. Okay. Now, Cottonwood Creek. Instead of going to the right... Wait, wait. No, we went to the left. We want to go to the right this time. Alright. Damn compass away. What are we going to find in Cottonwood Creek? Yeah, I didn't even know I was supposed to go the left way the first time we came here. I just kind of went there on a whim. Okay. What are we looking for exactly? I really need to know what that research is about. I'm assuming they have the two girls and they're doing some kind of experiments on them or something. Okay, we have to follow this creek. They might even have that boy that Delilah was talking about earlier, too. But at the same time, we don't know if she's good or evil. She might be evil because she had that weird private conversation that we may not have been intended to hear. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Wow, she's really great at securing these damn caches. I mean, at least you're mixing up a little bit. That's a little bit more <laughs> secure than one, two, three, four for every one of them. So it's not over here. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Damn it, Delilah. Wonder what I'm gonna find inside too. Oh, also keep in mind I have an axe, so I could probably get through some areas that I wasn't able to before. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Good thing I turned around. I was gonna continue going the other way. All right, five, six, seven, eight. Who do you appreciate? We'll see if it's Delilah in a second. Let's see, copy map information. We always do this. It's a great necessity. Um, three blind rats. New radio, aha. I've got it now. Good, I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger. Hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Damn right we do. Whatever these people oh. are doing is illegal, right? I could try to call her out. We need to find out how they're I'm not doing gonna it, do why, it. everything. I suspect her, but I'm not going to call her out. What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. She knows more than she's talking about. Um, None of it makes any sense. What about the other lookouts? I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. Henry, I've 
been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And nothing like this has ever happened before. Let the other lookouts all in my head. I'm gonna find answers. Lookouts. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. What the hell was that? Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Oh, can I not report the noise now? I went off as soon as I was coming down here. Hey. Where could that have been? Uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. Uh, okay. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Great, now we're gonna get in trouble with the authorities. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Well, isn't this just peachy? Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Well, good thing we have Henry here on the case. Damn, I really want to know what that noise was. Is there anything on my map about it? No, I don't think so. Whatever. Alright, let's keep going. It could be like until Donna. If I turned back, I could have got slaughtered. Good thing I didn't do it. Whew. Nice save. Okay, we're almost there. We just have to get down to... Uh... Thunder Valley, or whatever it's called over here. So we don't even have to go down there, we have to go up here. And then we go down the rope ski. Okay. This action should make our life a lot easier for breaking in there and then we'll find something out. I kind of have a feeling I'm going to get kidnapped in there though. What is with that? And who's to say that they can't overhear us on this radio either? Right. What's that noise? The fence is making noise because of the wind. Okay. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. Do it up. <clears throat> We make our own entrances here. Whoa! Ow! Great, now we're infected with something. Oh, man. This isn't our day. I got stung by a bee. Okay. Is, is that it? Yeah. Did it, did it hurt? Yes, kind of. O okay, I'm, I'm sorry. He really does report way too much to her. <laughs> okay, what is this? Well, PD Station personnel, if you are trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. University-owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Oh, Joseon? 
Um, government owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. Good to know. Good to know. Let's, uh, let's take it. It's ours now. It's our property. We might need this all for evidence later. You never know. Okay, now time to get to the bottom of this. Oh, it's gonna be good. Nice, nice. Nice jumping skills. I like it. This way? It's getting dark out. Good thing we're gonna need that for our stealth maneuvers. If we're even gonna need them at all, who knows? Most likely not. What the hell's this? Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20 foot tall transmission tower. And they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. I mean, do we have like C4 or something? We could take this thing out real quick. Now, the question is why did they build this? What are they doing? Are they just looking for people to kidnap so they're. I mean, they can listen to the radio conversations like they were able to pick up that those girls were out there. So they knew they could go grab them because they were listening to lookouts. They know the lookouts are reporting this stuff. <gasps> What's going on here? Soil grid? Oh, they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to? Are they trying to grow their own zombies? Oh, man. The clever bastards. Looks like there was some kind of... A scuffle in there. Yeah, let's report this thing. I mean, there's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. Beeping equipment? Looks expensive. How could they get this out here? This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. I mean, it could be made of a bunch of things from a hardware store. This is like legit stuff. <laughs> Probably like the military, someone's involved in this. Maybe terrorists. Alright, let's see what's going on in here. Hard case. Wave receiver? I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit. You know, you swear like a lot. Not the time, Hank. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy... Holy shit, Henry? Yeah, holy shit. You're gonna take it, right? Yeah, of course. Holy guacamole, give me that thing. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. They live in here, look at those disgusting socks. Smells great. Smells like victory. Or defeat. Follow the beeping device. Report it. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. Hold on, I'm gonna report all this information first. Peanut butter. Hmm. I just wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. Figure out what that thing does and then get the hell out. Biff. Hmm. That sounds pretty realistic. Obviously not related to Jeff. That would be asking too much. That crap. Uh, they're gonna know something's up. Okay. Like, I could move everything else around here, but they noticed the peanut butter. Oh my god, somebody's been in here. <gasps> Looks heavy. Camp stove, doesn't matter. Equipment. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. They're not gonna catch me, don't you worry. They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. 
You know more than you're saying, bulletin board. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... our... people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. Who else could it be? You? Delilah? Earthquake monitor? There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. Oh, god damn. I better hurry up and get out of here. I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. Yeah, let's let's be optimistic that it's NASA. Good plan. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. I want to know what that thing finds. Look, you should get out before they come back. Yeah, look at that. It's going crazy. Oh, the clipboard? Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Yeah, who are they? Goodwins, the missing teens. Maybe the missing girls? Like, they're still out here and these people are following them? Maybe. It's possible, right? But then why haven't you seen them? I, I don't know. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. Okay, okay. Alright, let's, let's keep it. What were the damn map? All oh, the mess? Yeah, I, I think this thing is responding to something in this pile of crap on the desk. Dig through it. You got it! Black box. here what do they say their assessments about the two of us there's stuff in here about julia like what stuff i didn't tell you this is what it, what does it say about me you said there was one about me and it looks like they've been following me around what i do when i'm out hiking jesus henry do you hear me it says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together what we're not they're messing with us yeah okay they are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this- I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. I kind of like that idea. <laughs> Think about it. Yes. Worst case scenario... That's insane, huh? Delilah. What? Think about it. I am, and I think it's insane. They'd be fucked. Yeah, and how about if that fire comes up the mountain, or someone were to die in it? We call it in? We call it in? Yeah, maybe. Oh my god, Delilah, no. No way. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up! It's not even a good idea, what's wrong with you? Look, it's alright, I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Okay, I'm taking this with me. I'm taking it. It's mine. That one too. Guess that's it. Okay, I have a feeling someone's gonna knock me out as soon as I leave this tent. Oh, I'm safe. All right. Well, screw you guys. I'm going home. Something's got to happen on the way back. There's no way I'm safe. Still, what's the purpose? I wonder if anybody has any speculation. Let me know in the comments below. Please only do so if you don't actually know what happened yet. Um, oh, it's up here. Cross. Whoa. Whoa. Oh shit. Damn it, Henry. Oh, what the hell? Um, 
Lila, there's smoke coming from the site. I, mean, I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? Uh, call it in. <laughs> we just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Day 77, oh man. I kind of want to see for the story, but at the same time, I need to know what's going to happen. The flapjack fire. Wave received. Uh, okay. Guess we're heading out. Wow, oh, that fire's raging over there. Okay, let's do it. Wait, is it inside here? No, it's, it's definitely outside. Call it in. This receiver just picked something up. Like a signal? It's going beep beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! Why am I not there? <laughs> Good plan. Good plan. I'm a good planner. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Ay, ay, ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Damn, so hot. Oh, yeah. Okay, follow wave receiver. Oh, the radio's off? Oh, he's actually not going to talk to her. What if she gets in trouble, though? That doesn't seem like a good idea. Alright, anyway, so the beeping's clearly coming from this general direction. Is there a path here I can... Oh, jeez. Alright, there is a path over there. I see it. Dur, dur, dur. Where's it gonna take us? Wait, was that not a path? Alright, well, I'll keep going this way. Alright, so it's coming... which direction? It's coming from the... the west. Again, the sunlight so I can actually see it, or the... the moonlight, oops. Alright, so it's coming from the west, so... Oh, we have to go towards the medicine wheel. Yeah, the path is... Kinda close, not that close. Just go down here. Yeah, it's gotta be over here somewhere. What are we gonna find? I wonder how they knew I was already in there. Was that like a backup plan or something? Oh, now it's to the south. Gotta go up here. Oh, we're like right on top of it. It's down. I'm kind of creeped out right now. What? Strange backpack. The hell is this? Shit! What? Ah! Smash it! <laughs> Examine the strange bag. How do we do that? Oh, it's still there. Oops. <laughs> Oh, is that the key to unlock the in the gate in the cave? D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics. But 
It was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. Now, I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Oh, jeez. Alright, what are they doing? Um. Damn, which way was it? Okay, so that was over there. I think it was... Yeah, it was up here. Alright. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! At first, I thought that alarm was going to be a bomb, and then I was just like, Oh, no, the game's getting like this. It can't be. You can't do this to me. How dare you? Wait, so what is this? Oh, there was a path over here. Okay, that's the fire that was already set. Come on, where's my tower? There it is. All right. Better be ready to unleash fists of fury on their face. I'm ready. I'm not scared. I'm gonna take him down like the pretty boy we are. So pretty. They're already gone. I don't see anyone up here. He was just there. Okay, so what exactly did he do? See if he's around. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was in there. <laughs> I forgot I left him in there. Oh, I didn't see this. Left a cassette player taped to my damn door. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Well, let's see what's on it. Sounds like a plan. Please tell me what's going on. Oh, they're setting us up! It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! We have no choice now. We have to kill them. D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Day 78. It's some kind of social experiment or something? Yeah, me too. But what's wrong? What's wrong? Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. Don't worry, they won't take us alive. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight, from the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. Okay, all right. 
So we have to get to that cave. Fastest way from here to there is, of course, where that closed trail was earlier. That was down here, wasn't it? Yeah, it's down here. This it better be. Might be taking a wrong turn for all I know. The suspense is really killing me. I need to know what's in there. I mean, they're trying to set us up. Is it because we've stumbled upon whatever weird experiments they're doing? Or was this the plan from the beginning? Hey, you... You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout? It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Don't worry, I got your back. Oops. Can't even keep myself straight out here. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not going to happen, though. Thanks, Henry. I mean, on that clipboard, there was something about, like, a manipulation rating. What, what the hell is going on here? Gotta know, shove it open. Yo, I'm not host now. You heard? Come in this room. What the hell? They, they just locked me in here. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please! Can't get any damn reception. Oh god damn. I mean it's pretty foolish to think just because we changed radios that was gonna prevent them from hearing our conversations. Jesus, this is a big cave. On steep drop. What's over here? It's light coming through. Yes. yes. Maybe I can get out through here. <laughs> of course not. I can squeeze through here, though. I mean, we can't leave before we find out what's in here. Uh-oh. Another jump. <laughs> Skills! It's freezing in here. He really should have grabbed that sweater from the made-up university. Bet he wishes he had now. Really deep in this cave. No turning back now. Even if we could, there's no turning back. Now, is this a completely different area? Long drop down. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So you, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Oh, no, of course not. Okay, so we have to hike back to Two Forks. Okay, okay. Oh, jeez, look at that drop. I should be careful. Somebody's, like, right behind me. They could have pushed me off right there. I mean, realistically, if they want to kill us, they had so many opportunities to do it at this point. It's clearly not about that. Where they've been living? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. Usual fortress wall. A bunch of rocks stacked up. He made a wall and a perimeter. 
You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Man, there's so much to report in here. We have to report it all. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Alright. What else have we got? Sea cushion? Dinosaur? Oh my goodness, it's a dinosaur! Roa! Nice, now he gets to sleep very comfortably. Handmade sign. Oh, what's this under here? Note to Ranger. Video game toy? There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. I mean, it's the thought that counts, really, though. Ham radio diagram? There's a ham radio schematic here? Something Brian was working on? Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him. You know, tinkering on... stuff like that. Interesting, but wrong, not conventional, past maximum voltage, too high. Alright, let's, let's keep that. Note to Ranger. Huh, Brian stole his dad's climbing gear, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was gonna hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a Ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah, it sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. Alright, let's read this really quick. Dear Ranger, hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be... With a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and please retor uh, return them to Brian Goodwin in the mail? My address is 55 Foxtrot Lane, North Platte, Nebraska, 69101. If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You are probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they're my dad's and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on the trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger. Brian. P.S. The reward will be good. <laughs> nice, nice. Pull them in. This kid's gonna be a good salesman someday. Postcard? There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also, he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. Such a good kid, apparently. I mean, the good one fits. Alright, let's read this one really quick. Dear Mr. Zackler, I'm with my dad in Lander, Wyoming. It's pretty neat. Dad fished in a spot called Sinks Canyon. Most of Wyoming looks like a home in Nebraska, but then there are mountains and woods when you go far. I'm sorry I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you found a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell my dad when school starts? Because I don't think he knows. Your friend and neighbor, Brian Goodwin. Kid's a little goody two-shoes. A uh, bundle of... Ah! Those could be of use to me. Oh, I can't play it. Oh, the screen's smashed in. Eat it! Damn it. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. 
Is there anything else in here? Um, sign somewhere? Can you schematic? Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily Coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> he's got a pulley, he's got an angle control, magnet hook. Damn, this kid's got quite imagination. In case you forgot, that was the backpack that had all the ropes in it. She had speculated that it was Brian's. Okay, let's just keep that. Science homework? Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Smarter than me. Yeah, but not smarter than yours truly, right? <laughs> Wait, are you seriously feeling threatened by the intelligence of a 12-year-old you've never even met? I'm just saying I'm pretty, uh, you know, with it. I'm a pretty bright bulb. Yeah, Henry, you're a regular Rhodes Scholar. Nice. I'm glad you agree. Alright, let's keep that. Alright, so this is just a guess, but... I'm thinking maybe it's Brian's dad that's behind this, and they're kind of like hinting towards it with all these different science experiments. Possibly something. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. Damn, look at these. I can't draw that well. This kid's so talented in every way. Oh, he's got a nuclear bomb going off over there. Yeah. Nice, nice. Destruction. Uh, what else is there? Old pillow? He made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. He takes after me. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half elf armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. <laughs> this is awesome. It's like you're playing an RPG only in uh, obviously text form. Pretty nifty, pretty nifty. All right, all right. Let's keep that. So I think we've officially found everything inside here. Nothing else, right? Loose stone. Eat some rock. Damn it. I fail. Alright, so we gotta explore this cave some more. See what we can find. Oh, wait, what? Oh, here we go. That explains why we found that. Alright, freedom, here we come. I hope we're not gonna find him dead out here somewhere. What do you think is in there? Me lucky charms? Probably gonna be killed. There's something in there. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a. Are you serious with this shit right now? A uh, hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Damn right I do. Gotta know what it is. Honestly, I just... I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. Oh yeah, I'll bet. Alright, so we have to get back in the cave. Going the right way. Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. Well, that's a surprising turn of events. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah. You've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. 
I really thought they were involved in this somehow, like they got kidnapped. Huh. Well, I guess that's a good thing. They weren't having experiments performed on them. I hope I'm going the right way. Let me see. Okay, I'm heading south. Yeah, I'm going the right way. So... Oh, I'm going to come right up on it. Alright. Let's follow this path right down. And there's the cave. Let's explore, shall we? I still have the key, right? I hope we don't lose it. Oh, we're good. Better not lock behind us again. Should I put like a couple of rocks in front of it or something? <laughs> Maybe the wind blew it shut. Yeah, we have to go down this way this time. Man, the anticipation is killing me. Maybe they haven't killed me yet because I haven't actually seen it, but once I do, then it's going to be very bad for me. Going to get very dire for me. I mean, how are they coming down here themselves? I had to put a rope there to come down. Is there a secret entrance? Get down here? Drop down. That's just what they want me to think, really. Okay, let's keep going. Deeper into this hole. Oh, uh, what? Oh, <gasps> uh, shit. Are you... Oh, God. You're Brian Goodwin. God. Poor kid. Oh, man. See, I kind of had a feeling we were going to find him. Wait, was he murdered or did the cave collapse on him? That rock's like right on his head. You fell. Oh, he fell, okay. Damn. Alright, that's pretty sad. Wait, so why is someone trying to prevent us from finding this? I mean, it's gotta be his father, right? That doesn't explain why they're eavesdropping on us. Maybe he just wanted to know if they were gonna find out about... If we're gonna find out about the kid? Oh man, I don't know. I just don't know. He's actually going to let us leave. <sighs> so the story definitely turned out completely different than I was expecting. <sighs> I'm still assuming that all those machines and equipment were about experiments, though. <sighs> Somehow related to Brian's diagrams and whatnot. Oh, well, that's convenient. <sighs> now we can report it. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Yeah, well, we have some bad news. Hey, you, um, might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's... what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. 
It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <clears throat> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm -hmm. Yes, the father killed him. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. Oh, don't be fooling yourself. This isn't the truth. You should have told someone about him. What do we do now? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. D-79. See, I do suspect it was the father, but... Can I err on the side of caution? Pack up a lot and see. Oh, he kept all the notes here. Very interesting. Tracking device. You see that plane? Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the flapjack fire or the site fire or. Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? What happened to Brian, who's surveilling us? We still don't know who was listening to us, who was following me around, who made that tape. Yeah, all we have is the body of a dead boy who did nothing wrong. But maybe we can still find these people. Look. I think whoever is out there caused the site fire to cover their tracks, and I'm almost certain that when I get off the helicopter, I'm going to be led into a room and made to listen to a tape of me saying we started it. And we don't know shit. What can I do? Well, there's something for you to do. Holy shit. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. That's very reassuring. Well, that's nice. Could this be a trap? I mean, am I walking into a trap right now? I hope not. I would much rather remember you from a bar somewhere and not a jail cell. Please find who made that tape. I mean, it's gotta be Ned, right? Who else could it be? It seems like he set the fire to cover the tracks because he killed his son. And maybe it was because the son was making diagrams on some secret project he was working on. He didn't want the information to get out. I don't know. I'm really just speculating here. I have no idea. Now, is this everything? I got the ring. I got the picture. Can't take the mug. Uh, desk drawer. Don't need this crap. Nothing in that one. Alright, I mean, I'm pretty sure I've got everything I need here. Keep that off. I want some bleach. Bring it with me. If we find Ned, we're gonna make him drink this. It's the only way to dish out the justice. Unfortunate. Chlorotox. <laughs> That's pretty catchy. Alright, unfortunately I have to drop it so I can actually see where I'm going. Damn it. Alright, so the general direction... is down this path, obviously. This way. It's gotta be some kind of trap. We really have no choice but to check it out, though. Can 
Okay, it's down here. I mean, am I missing anything? The answer's probably like right in front of my face. Straight ahead still. So we have to take this path. Nobody knows where it goes. Yep, down here. Where does it appear to be taking us? That's my question. Might be going to Jonesy Lake. We might be going down where that campfire smoke was. What is it, damn it? What is it? I mean, at the very least, I'm happy we never actually ran into a bear. Got nothing. I think I'm getting close. All right. Well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's... It's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Alright, I can do that. Now... What is with this clawed up tree? What did this? Was this a bear? I don't know, let's, let's not stick around to find out. Wait, what's that at the top of the hill? Oh, rope hook, okay. Yeah, it's down there somewhere, alright. Down we go. So if it's not Ned, then it's got to be one of those two guys that were in those notes that we kept finding in the, the caches. Ron or Dave, maybe? It seems like Ned's got to be the guy, though. Getting so close. Wait, there's a path up here. Oh, it's not like a secret path. Wait, what? Oh, what? Henry? Oh. Uh oh. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. Okay, it's about to get real. We have to listen to it. Okay, so that answers everything. 
we found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The... Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. Pike North to... Go for evacuation. I mean... No, I have to go... Oh wait, well I have to... Go through there anyway, right? I guess he's been dumping trash up here for a while. What, the clothesline? There's a clothesline. All information she needs. Oh my, we found his headquarters. Role playing rule book. Yeah, we'll keep that. He. God. What? Nothing, just some of Brian's stuff. Photo. Brian was a nice looking kid. Yeah. To a rad, bad, mega dad. That's all it says. I mean, he kept all this stuff, though. Alright. Let's see what else we can find in here, I mean. Need all the answers we can get here. He wrote down everything he did to us. And everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. I bet. So we'll be keeping that. Research site info, how to break in. North fence, loose entrance. South of the gates. Staff return August. To do, return borrowed equipment. Erase H&D evidence. Leave no trace. Okay, we'll be keeping that evidence too. We're turning you in, pal. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. Well, I mean, that's to be expected. I was kind of assuming that. Program status review, one week, four weeks, six, ten, twenty-five week annual. Observational traits, reliable, observing, charismatic, selfish, skewed, perception of personal history. Pertinent, observed facts, never... Mm, fuck, what? Okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll keep that. Port draft. Subject to Lila, age 43. Status review. Really not much information there. No. Oh, well, we're keeping it. Okay, this one's on Henry, age 39. Wow, she's older. Damn. Older woman. Nice job, Henry. Keeps to the path. Passive. Guilty. Forthright. Uh, no kids, been a wife of 11 years, would not be missed if removed. Hmm. Susceptibility to manipulation, 9. Supervisor, SGN, goddammit. This is really creepy stuff. Alright, so also in Henry... I don't know what the hell that means, but I see guilty in there. I mean, he obviously feels guilty about what happened to his wife and leaving her behind and list of supplies. 2,000 ounces of propane, 1.5 cords, backup firewood, uh, 400 pounds of food. Wow. 100 on hand, 300 buried. Three winter jackets, three new blankets, 25 box matches, 25 books, 90 amp hours, battery power. Socks, 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 new boots, duct tape, try elk skin, summer weight gain goal, 35 pounds. 
That's a pretty hefty goal. I mean, he has a lot of food though, so I guess it's not really that difficult to pull off. Oh wait, he has their magazines in here. I mean, we already know that they're fine, so he didn't kidnap them or anything. It never got to that point. Oh, the workbench? You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. Take a closer look. Disassemble the radio. This boombox looks familiar. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing. Fast. It's gonna burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. That's a good point. I completely forgot about my camera. Put that away, pull our camera back out. Right, let's get picks. Sweet, sweet picks. Guess we'll take a picture of everything in here. May as well get everything we can. Maybe go check out the pile of trash out there too. We still have extra pictures left over. Oh, I should have taken pictures when I was inside that place that burned down. Damn it. You know what? I also should have taken pictures of everything that was inside my my um my tower too. Oh, I forgot. That's really about all I can take. I wonder if it has some effect depending on what pictures you take on the story somehow. I'm not sure. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. Take a pick of that. Damn thief. Beer can. Clean up. Damn it, Ned. Damn it. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. So we got radio logs. This is just going to be all the information that we're talking about. Keep all of it. Or, yeah, everything we can. We don't need to go in depth on their conversations. We had quite the view. Interesting, interesting. So I guess I have to go back and climb down the, little, the uh, rope. It's back this way. The fire may have grown big enough that I cut off our path now. May have to take a different approach. Climb down. I mean, are we going to run into Ned? He wanted us to climb up there, so obviously he wasn't trying to hide it. Like, he specifically wanted us to go up there. Anyways, we're going back to our tower really quick. I just want to take pictures of all the evidence that was on the wall. Just in case, if I can even get back there at this point. Might be too late now. Up this rope we go. Hopefully it doesn't break. That'd be just my luck. And right, we're going to be going right by the tower on the route we're currently f going down. Technically going up, but... We'll have a chance to take those pictures real quick before it's too late. Henry, let's do this. I'm still curious what those. I know I should be relieved. We're 
relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. But I'm not. He was a sweet kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. Well, that sounds about right. I think it was an accident. Yeah, it it kind of seems like he did love him. I think... I think that Ned loved him. He still had his photo, you know? I don't want to hear it. He, he obviously didn't want to forget him. He just didn't know what to do. Henry, not knowing what to do isn't okay. When you're supposed to look after someone, you... You figure it out. Yes. And Ned Goodwin is a shithead who is incapable of figuring anything out. Sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. Just settle down, it's okay. Don't blame yourself. You didn't do anything wrong. You said it yourself. It was Ned's job to look after him. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <laughs> Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey! No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think... I'm gonna go with them. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, she should go, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a good idea. Yeah. I mean, it's dangerous here, and and if anything were to happen, then that would be on me. So. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um. You sure that's okay? I said it was. All right. Um. I should go. Have a safe flight. All right. Have a safe hike. Damn it, where's my bleach? I lost it. Oh, there it is, okay. Taking it with me. Alright, so, see, I kind of get the feeling if I told her to stay behind, then something might have happened to her. But at the same time, I kind of get the feeling that because she's not here, something might happen to me now. So either way, I kind of screwed somebody over. Oh, man, I want to bring the bleach with me. Am I going the right way? Going north. Yeah, this is the right way. Alright. Where'd it go? Where's my bleach? Can't leave without it. Did it fall down there? Ah, leave it behind, damn it. Oh, just wanted to drink some. Oh, it's down there. Oh, my bleach. You're coming with me. Best buddy. Okay, okay. We're gonna be just fine. Just fine. At least I, I certainly hope so anyway. This is the way back to the cave, but... Oh, damn it. Do you think I should go back and take a picture of his body? Just as evidence? See, on one hand, I think it's a good idea. On the other, I don't. I don't think he was actually an evil guy after all, but... I mean, it could turn out that he was. I'm gonna make the decision not to take the picture. Fingers crossed that Ned was actually a good guy after all. This could be a huge mistake. It's my decision, Damon. That's what I'm choosing. Because if you think about it, what's really the purpose of these pictures? They have to have some kind of effect on the story at some point. 
I do wish I was taking pictures of all that, that uh, equipment and everything I saw earlier. Before it burned down, now it's too late. But we'll just see what happens. I mean, otherwise, it can be just like a note for a future playthrough. Okay, so here's the wires. I know exactly where I have to go. I remember coming this way. We had a look at the wire that was cut. Then there was a cable car that Delilah said led to her. Now the only thing I hope didn't happen was that the helicopter she got in was a trap or something. I hope that didn't happen, but we're not going to know till we get there. Man, it's so dreary out here now. Used to be all beautiful out here and everything. Great scenery. It's actually reflecting the story pretty well, too. We were in a pretty happy storyline. Everything looked great out here. Now we found out about the kid dying and now it's all just gone to hell. Alright, it's Brian. Oh, they repaired it. That's good. That's good. That's good. I know they said they were going to, but it's just nice to actually see it in motion. Or see it actually happen. So, it's down here. Then we're going to come to the fork, which will lead to the right. The left was where Brian left his backpack with all the ropes in it. Yep, here we go. Alright. I'm guessing we're approaching the end of the game. And right up here is the cable car. I hope it's actually in commission. If it's not, we're screwed. We might be really screwed. Wait, what was that? Oh. Look out. Delilah's tower. Yeah, that's the thing I could see out in the distance from my tower earlier in the game. Okay, looks like it's ready for us. Hey, I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? Delilah? Oh, God. All right. Wait, why can't I get in? Don't. Okay, let me see if I can drop it in there. Oh, <gasps> damn it. No! No! Bleach! Bleach! I'm sorry. I have to leave you behind. So this area is going to be totally new now. her tower up there. Let's go see what's going on. Her outhouse. Very interesting. Very, very... Not really, actually. <laughs> Is Ned here? Is she in there? Please don't be in there. Okay, so I've made it here. I'm not gonna find out something here, am I? Something secret. Keeping her tequila. Hello? Is anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. I'm back at the staging area near the trailhead. I think I see your truck. Red, Colorado plates. Yeah. It's a piece of shit. That's what I said at the beginning of the game. Nice. She's observant. Well, yeah. I think there might be a raccoon living in it. Make sure he's comfy, I guess. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. 
Ah, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what. Why don't you choose for me, and I'll choose for you. <laughs> All right. Sure. Um, maybe... Let's see, what are we going to choose for? Come back to Boulder with me? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Maybe you could come back to Boulder with me and figure it out down there. Um, just, just a thought. You don't want me down there. Well, I just asked you. Look, I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll head south sometime after that. I could come by, sure. Okay. So, what about me? I think you should go to Julia, and then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. I mean, she's right, but they kind of had, like, a thing going on here. Yeah, sure. Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. Yeah, she has a point. You're right. I mean, I think you're right. Good. When I get back, maybe I could, um... We shouldn't focus on this summer. Next year we'll roll around, and then the year after that, and then it's just a... I don't know. My Aunt Judy called it a pause in the hallway of time. <laughs> Did your Aunt Judy smoke a lot of pot? Yeah. Well, you should try to take her advice, too. Yeah, we'll see. There's the helicopter. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. You too, Delilah, you too. You too. Good luck. No. Henry, you keep it for yourself, okay? Bye, Hank. Definitely taking this drawing. She pretty much nailed them white shorts. <laughs> bear, whoa! Was there a bear tree? Try some trees in here? She didn't warn me about it? See, I kind of get the feeling that I could have ended up with Delilah at some point in this. But the real purpose was just to figure out that Julia was definitely the answer the whole time, I guess. Doesn't appear to be anything else in there. Alright, let's get going. Guess we finally reached the end. Freedom's a coming. The helicopter. So whatever happened to Ned? Where'd he go? I don't know, I guess he's gonna stay behind. He might get killed by the fire. Time to go home. I could have told her to stay behind and maybe that would have changed things. Alright, so that's officially the end. Are we going to have anything else added in here?
Guess not, that's officially the end of it. So I actually really enjoyed this a lot. A lot more than I thought I was going to. I knew there was a story attached to it, but I just didn't know what exactly it entailed. Oh, it showed me all the pictures I took. Do they have any actual effect on the game? I'm assuming not. I wonder if there were different endings though. Like what would have happened if I told her to stay behind? I mean it's interesting because obviously yeah he was in love with Julia but they were kind of building something here during the summer. But I guess at least in this playthrough it would turn out just to be a little fling. Only in the sense that they were talking to each other, not really. <laughs> Anything actually happened. I mean, they never actually saw each other face to face. Oh, look, there's Henry. Jeez, no wonder why she ran away. She wasn't interested. <laughs> Dinosaur. <laughs> oh, I'm assuming that's... Is that Ned? Yep, and then that's Brian. They were in the tower. Looks like they were pretty happy. Yeah, he didn't make the right decision at all, but still. It still seemed like he cared about him regardless. But I mean, you really can't do that. Okay, now really quick before we end this video and the series, let's take a look at the photos. Upload your photos to firewatch.camera to view, share, and order prints. Oh, it's just to take in-game game screenshots, I guess. Doesn't really have any effect on the story. Alright. Alright, well anyways everybody, that was officially the entirety of Firewatch, which just recently came out. If you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find a link to the developer's website in the description with more information on buying it on your platform of choice. Whether that's PC, which was what this playthrough was of, or Mac, Linux, or the PlayStation 4. Now, I did think it was a pretty awesome game, and I guess the regular price is $20. Currently, it's on sale 10% off, so it's a little bit cheaper, so if you're interested, you should probably buy it sooner rather than later. But, I think it was definitely worth it, I mean, basically saw the entirety of the story here, so there's not really much more to do at this point, but it was still a really deep and grossing story, so I was, I was a really big fan of it, I don't know, what else to say. So I guess I'll just leave it at that, I hope you enjoyed as always, CK Nation. Please remember to leave a like and favorite to show your support and let me know you did. If you're new, join us in Seek Nation by clicking subscribe so you can see more videos like this from other games in the future, full playthroughs, and various other things too. And I will see you next time.